All right, so we're back again with another high MMR VOD review. This time we're on Viscus. The person's name is Shh. So yeah, let's see how this goes. All right, get that little slide in. The slide amounted to absolutely nothing. You see there that uh, he used the Viscus right click, which is like a AOE bullet instead. Uh, I guess it's supposed to be goo. But yeah, just focusing, getting the melee in to secure those souls. I really need to melee more in my games as well, and you should too, because then you don't even need to worry about your souls being contested. But yeah, they already got the first push, which is really nice because now they get to harass for free while the enemy's trying their best to get the souls from the troopers. So yeah, make sure you get that first push if you know that you are able to be aggressive. I mean, some champions may not be able to actually be aggressive because they're weak early. Um, yeah, I know his is not the best early game, but I'm sure you could probably pull some off. Yeah, you see here he, how he used the AOE attack. The AOE attack also does more damage. It almost, I feel like it does like almost like 50% more bullet damage, but it does use five ammo. So, you know, a little bit harder. So you kind of like spam it necessarily. But yep, yeah, focusing on getting those souls. I really like Viscus's voice. It's so, <laughs> it's so tilting. <laughs> It's like just high pitch and it's, just, it's, it's high pitch in a way that like doesn't annoy you, but you know, it piss somebody off you if you kill them. Firing goo. You know, I can't do it. I, my voice is too deep. It's a, it's a curse actually. Oh, look at that. They are getting dove by the enemy right now. The enemy took a good bit of damage, but I suppose that was useful because they are behind on souls, the Abrams and the Viscus right now. Would be kind of annoying. But you know, that's the thing, right? Like, even if you're, like, losing the lane, what you really need to focus on is just securing the soul. If you do not fall behind too hard on souls, you're just so much better off. But Viscus just dove trying to get the souls and... Well, he paid. So we buy. So far, we have Spirit Strike, which enhances the Puddle Punch damage. We have Melee Life Steal, same thing, because Puddle Punch does scale with light melee damage oh you you're not the correct one you are the correct one yeah puddle punch consider light melee attack very nice very nice so you could go like a very melee heavy build and just like bitch slap people with your puddle punch and it is very funny <laughs> all right let's see yeah once again just trying their best to secure those souls making sure they use melee i'm pretty sure abrams just got parried by the way that's why he was stunned um abrams is is a, the definition of a noob stump, but where like if you're in an elo where like people don't parry yet, you could just kind of run around doing whatever you want with Abrams. Uh, that's not the case for me. I'm at least somewhat high enough that like people will just parry you the minute they hear that wind up of the heavy melee attack. Hey, Viscus, what are these lines? <laughs> Viscus is like giving the worst advice possible. <laughs> oh god, Bob, Bob really makes some funny uh, voice lines, not gonna lie. The, the voice lines in, for example, Portal are just... It's, it's too good. They're just too good. GLaDOS is just the perfect amount of asshole. Anyways, wrong game. Right, so we we poke in, we poke in, try, just trying to get the souls. They are down like a thousand souls right now, which is really bad. Because that means the enemy could have a, basically two items, 500 each. But yeah, you also notice too, Viscus just used the heavy melee attack to get two of the jungle monsters at the same time. Important thing to remember. Alright, so he cubes the Abrams, trying to make sure Abrams doesn't kind of just get one-tapped. It seems Abrams is severely struggling right now. But, I mean, the only one that have, has died is Viscus, so we'll see. We will see. I can afford new items. Now, he does have Mystic Boost as well, which is just going to give you a ton more damage on your Splatter. Not the Puddle Punch, by the way. Puddle Punch deals melee, melee damage. So, that's something to keep in mind. 
Look, like, look at that ship. You see how he pa he parried that melee attack without from around the corner. That was insane. And they both died for it. Not the best. And also not the best to try to fight them when you are like a thousand souls behind. But we'll see. We'll see how Viscous goes on to carry this game. Yeah, you definitely don't want to fight when you're at a severe soul de deficit. Because, for example, right now we could look. He has Shiv has six, seven items, and Viscus has four. Is it a good time to fight? No. We see here right now they are just paying attention to the map. They notice that there is a giant wave crashing on their guardian. So yeah, why not rotate? You know. Don't let those souls go to waste, as um, I'm sure somebody has said. Oh god, Lash. <laughs> Don't we always hate Lash? Something about Lash just like being able to dive you, jump on top of you, always in the air. His voice lines just piss you off because he is meant to be an asshole. Ah, <sighs> if you're a Lash player. I hate you. No, I'm joking. <laughs> I should probably I should probably pick up Lash. I should just know how Lash works. I like I played him just to know what the abilities are, but like I don't know them in depth. And I feel like that Lash is in every game. Seems like one of the most popular heroes right now. Yeah, right now we're just collecting the boxes, the statues that are around the map. Make sure you don't miss these because the boosts do add up over time, and you will feel the effects eventually. As my yeah. Like, trust me, you, ju you just don't want to, like, n neglect them. Because eventually you will have such a significant deficit in stats that you'll be dying and you don't even know why. You'll be like, oh, I feel strong, but you you're not. Alright, Lash died. Thank God. Uh, I almost want to make a song about that. Now, Viscus is trying to get, like, a nice puddle punch from around the corner. Does not hit it. But you can see right now, Viscus is at 5k souls. Whereas the enemy laners are around 6k. That's actually really good. Just by, like, farming up, they have decreased the deficit. I don't get why people think it's gross. What do you, Viscus, what do you mean you don't get why people think it's gross? Nobody wants to be covered in slime. This isn't Nickelodeon. Dynamo tries to escape, but cannot because he's in a corner. Look at that. That was a, such a good rotation. Now Viscus is at 6k souls. Beautiful. You see, what are we buying so far? We have Slowing Hex. Slowing Hex is probably for characters like Infunus and shiv characters that just have so much mobility you know he has extra charge as well extra charge is for the puddle punch so he's going hard into that puddle punch now this puddle punch does do significant damage right away right like it's gonna do 164 damage like that's insane and heal you as well goes behind the pocket pocket it has such an easy escape but pocket should still die pocket Pocket. He's he's alive. <laughs> How did Pocket survive? I I swear the McGinnis was on top, but you know. Pocket is very uh slippery, so you I mean I don't think you could blame the McGinnis there. To receive a gift from the deep. They're about to, I need to know Viscus's law. What do you mean by the deep? One thing I never realized too is that Visca has such like an easy time clearing the trooper waves uh, because he has so much AoE. It's actually really good to remember because that means that Visca could catch up to you very quickly. And we can see right now, Viscus, even though they had a very hard start, Viscus is ahead of his teammates. And the souls, the souls are relatively even right now, so they're actually doing really well. His pocket got, gets caught out again. Poor pocket. Frog in a suitcase. Classic move. Fire in 
watching strangers would feel so good. <laughs> Why is Visco so violent? I can't wait until they update Viscus' model because right now Viscus' model apparently is just like Kelvin, but you know, green. It's like something really plain. Uh, you know, the game is an alpha. Wait, what are you gonna do? Yeah, we rotating, we rotating. We see a dynamo caught out here. Is this gonna go well? Abrams is fine. Very nice. Dynamo is dead. He gets parry. Oh my god, this Shiv is a parry god. Not gonna lie. Um, but I mean, Shiv, you're kind of dead. You you can't. The teleporter takes way too long. <laughs> but yeah, they did add those teleporters in the center of the map on the left and right side in one of the recent updates. It's very useful to keep the teleporters in mind because if you need to rotate to the other side of the map, please do not run all the way across. I've seen my teammates doing that shit. I'm like, mm, y'all don't know about teleporters yet. Mm -mm. No, is Pocket gonna take that? No, Pocket is not suicidal. That's good. Yeah, Pocket just got deleted by Hyper Beam. Always nice to see. You can see Viscus is just ahead, right? Getting the farming getting all those souls in now he bought enchanter's barrier so when you have a spirit shield you gain bonus spirit powder and cdr really nice because that's just gonna enhance the splatter damage Ooh, look at that look at go ball go 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 ball is such a fun ability too I, i'm i'm in love with viscous right now even though i'm comically bad at viscous i haven't even really played a good game with him That's why we're here to learn, right? Yeah, and you see right there, he used the cube, which is his two, to dodge the shiv execute. That's real good to keep in mind, which means Viscus is essentially a counter pick to shiv if you could get the cube off in a timely manner, at least. Are right, we back? We see a wave crashing, of course. Look, look at how fast Viscus was able to clear that wave, by the way. Um... Almost seems unfair. That no one there had to nerf the shit out of Viscus. Because a few days ago, they. I think they buffed Viscus and then they immediately had to be like, uh, Viscus is just ruining every single game now. Because the Puddle Punch did so much damage. So I think they reduced the range from like 60 to 40 meters and then they reduced the damage as well on Puddle Punch. They also reduced, I believe, like Splatter, the damage, and also I think maybe the cube heals less or something like that. He's getting all those souls. Make sure you get the unsecured souls. I feel like a lot of times, at least in my earlier games, not so much in my current games, but people would just leave the unsecured souls. I'm like, uh, do you not see free money on the ground? Don't we all love free money or is it is it only in real life? I, I love free money no matter what. It, it could be Saudi Valley. I don't, I don't care. I, I, I like my free money. All right. Right, so we got Metal Skin. Metal Skin is just so that you become very hard to kill. And it only has a 20 second, 22 second cooldown, right? So you could use Metal Skin in every single fight, basically. And that's the thing about the active items. Like, they are so useful and people just do not take enough advantage of them. I'm only now seeing in my games, like, people will, like, 100% counter, counter pick you with items. But yeah, if you're a noob, you could just you could level up yourself so much by just buying actives and you know remembering to use them. Oh, pocket got sat on by a goo ball. Ah, oh, that's embarrassing. Poor pocket again. I keep having to say that. What what is this pocket score? Three four zero. He's not even doing doing badly. It's just funny to see him die to the viscous over and over. Right, and we, we're rotating to yellow because there's a fight breaking out. We can rotate it, therefore we should. Viscus, are you going to be able to do much? No. Unfortunately not. Shiv and Dynamo are getting away. It seems as though Abrams is chasing, but his team is not helping him. Well. 
Yes, that's that's a hard thing to know too. It's like you might think your teammates are following up on you, but like they might not think it's a good idea, or they might not even be aware of the fact that you are fighting. In this case, I imagine because it's a high MMR game, they probably did not want to fight for some reason. Maybe they think they can't win. But Viscus is really far ahead. But the problem is that Abrams is at 11k. Do you want to follow up an 11k souls Abrams to Shiv's 18, 19k, whatever it was at the time? Probably not. So you always have to consider the power levels, right? God, that... If that splatter did so much damage. Did like 450. Okay. Do you have Mystic Boost? Yeah, he does have Improved Boost. That's why. Okay. Ooh, Dynamo ults to try to live, but he gets crushed as well. Get to see it. Why? <laughs> this does so much damage. That's Gubal did like 500 damage. Yeah. Viscus is Harry in this game at this point. However, they are 2k souls behind. So let's see if they could actually catch up. He's going to focus on farming for now, but he sees that the pocket is be able to be ganked, right? So are we going to get... A really good fight here. We have the McGinnis wall. That's good. However, Viscus does not have ult. And that's an important thing to remember too. Like you could see your teammates ultimates their cooldowns right here on the lightning bolts below their portraits. Make sure and keep that in mind. You need to know whether or not your teammates should be fighting. Even if they don't know whether or not they should be fighting. Like if your teammate is in Furnus and you see Infernus going in deep and he has no ult, maybe don't follow him unless he's really fed and he's impossible to kill right the context matters for sure but right now we have a giant team fight going on viscus is staying on the edges trying to just get damage off they have a really weak lash but lash is really hard to kill he is chasing the dynamo will he be able to do anything oh dynamo guess got slapped with the puddle punch and now he's gonna get sat upon by the goo ball all right, Dynamo, you should be dead. You you, you should be dead. Dynamo. God damn it. Oh, this looks like an asshole. <laughs> I can't believe he didn't die. Wow. That's like the movement coming into play, right? Oh, we got a pause going on. Mm. Ivy says we're going to make this shiv fucking depressed. Uh, Ivy, that shiv is ahead. You're getting carried by this Visca. So let's see how that... Let's see how that statement ages. All right, finally, we're back in the game. Spirit Shield coming back up. Very nice. And one thing I, you have to remember too, Viscus does have Heal Bane, which is really important for a character like Infernus and also Lady Geist because Lady Geist has a ton of healing. Uh, like, look at that. She has Leech. Uh, yeah, you need, you need the Heal Bane at that point or else Lady Geist would be impossible to kill. Does Infernus have Leech yet? No. Not yet. He does have Spirit Life Steal. But once Infernus gets Leech, he becomes like a god. In a 1v1, if you do not have, he'll be in good luck. And I play a lot of Infernus, so I know. Like, if nobody buys, he'll be in. I'm just like running around like, doop, 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 doop. You can't kill me. Uh, let's see. Ooh, he uses a cube to try to... He used a cube so that slowing Hex doesn't hit, by the way. That's why he used the cube. The cube allows you to let's like be invulnerable for a little bit, so you could really dodge some important CC. Like for example, the Haze ult. Okay, he got a really good puddle punch off. Alright, are we gonna get the wall off? Nice. Lash is ult in them though. He used unstoppable so that the lash doesn't just like knock him up. Lash <laughs> Lash got slammed against the wall in the funniest way possible. And look at that, he got rescue beamed by the Ivy. This Ivy, those healing items, the Ivy is actually playing supportive and is doing it well. Thing is though, they are str they are really, really ahead right now, but are they gonna be able to keep their lead? They're trying to get this walker. Will they be able to do it? If they get a walker, that would be sick. They did. And they imagine, and think about it this way. As soon as they got the walker, everybody left. Does that, do people do that in your games? Maybe. If, you, if you're if kind of lowish elo, elo, probably not. They probably stay and just all die. And then the, the soul advantage just like immediately swings. 
All right, so what did we buy here? We bought improved cooldown. All right, yeah, I mean, improved cooldown is kind of just good on basically everybody because you want your abilities to be up faster, but especially Viscus because he has that long range melee. A use of warp stone to reposition because you don't want to die. Shiv is kind of bleeding him off though, so it's kind of, we'll see. Oh, he did not get the parry off. That parry would have been difficult because he would have, he would have had to parry without seeing the parry, but you hear it, right? It does make a very distinctive sound, but kind of hard to always reaction speed that. Okay, now McGinnis is getting a little bit toxic. Hmm. Let's see, the team morale is not looking good. Look at how quickly the souls, they were like 10k ahead and now they're like 8k behind our team. That's not good. And also they lost the reju rejuvenator. All right, are we going to be able to come back though? This game, it is very easy to come back and it's also very easy to lose your lead. I mean, that's the same thing. But you know what I'm saying? Like, there's no reason to ever just like give up. It's not League of Legends where like, you know, when somebody gets a certain lead, like, you know, a character like Samira or something like that. It's not like our equivalent to Samira if you played League of Legends is his basically. With that ultimate that kind of just ruins everybody in the area. There's no like no reason to ever get, give up in this game. Even if your team, you know, you're not happy with how your team is playing, you're all arguing, just don't. Just like, use some encouraging words instead. We don't need to. We don't need to be assholes. Okay, well, you all also lost the urn, so now you're like 12k behind. This is really bad. Now, Viscus is going in. Hmm. But your teammate has died. Let's see. So now you have your two teammates behind. Now is a good time to leave, by the way. And notice the use of the puddle punch to escape. That is so sick. You could use puddle punch to accelerate yourself, right? And your teammates as well. That means puddle punch is probably one of the most versatile abilities in the game because of that. And you have the cube, save your IV. Very nice, very nice. You're working in tandem. Look at how that splatter did so much damage and you didn't even see. We didn't even get to see it. Ugh. But they are being invaded upon, right? This is not good. Hmm. Are we going to be able to do much? My camera perspective changed and I don't know when it changed. That's very annoying. Okay, he's trying to get his dynamo. Is he gonna do it? This dynamo is really hard to kill, especially because of that. Um, his teammate is paying him away. Right now, right now, Viscus is 100% the team. They are close in souls again, by the way. That's because the enemy died in base. I mean, they're, they're like, oh my god, 90 spectators. I mean, the high MMR games always have a bunch of spectators. So we have Knockdown in place of the Slowing Hex. Probably because Knockdown is just straight up better for anybody that's like, you know, in the air. And also, the nice thing about Knockdown is that it does stun. And it stuns for what? 0.9 seconds. That's enough time to get your abilities off and like do some serious damage. Only thing is it has a 2 second delay. So you have to like, you have to anticipate needing it is the thing about Knockdown. Alright, Ivy. Ivy's carrying him. Is Ivy gonna be able to do some here? Infernus is caught out. Infernus does not know what to do. <laughs> Infernus is trying to run away, but it did not help. Well, yeah, that was that was that was a good IV alt right there. Alright, now we have superior cooldown. I don't know what he put it on. Are we able to see? He probably put it on Splatter, I would imagine. But I don't I'm not I'm not too sure. Are we in a giant team fight? Are we gonna be able to rule over this Shiv? Shiv, I don't think you could really do much right here. I mean, Viscous is bleeding, but like, realistically, you kind of just can't pound it over and over. Ooh, terrible way to go out. 
Alright, they get altered by the Lash. And then Infuna's also. Ooh, that was a good combination. Thing is, Viscus is still alive. And Viscus could very easily warp Stone to safety. Is it gonna be a little bit difficult? As long as he doesn't get CC, he's probably fine. Nah, nah, he might. This might be it. Oh no, Viscus. You escaped, though. You escaped. Nice. Problem is, your team is dead. And they're very upset. Now, he's being chased by Pocket. Is he going to be able to do anything? His shields are coming back up. You can see right here, his shields are coming back up. That's like the counter, counter for both shields, so Spirit and Bullet. They use that fast wave clear right now. By the way, if your shields don't lose their... If you don't lose your entire shields, they do have a faster cooldown. I don't remember what how much faster the cooldown is. I'll put it in a little tooltip right here somewhere on the right. But yeah. Important thing to remember. Might make might change your decision making slightly. Alright, so we've got extra spirit now. Those the nice thing is that even though they are behind, they at least have three flex slots. And the flex slots, you really do need them. If you fall behind on flex slots, then you can't get a lot of the higher tier items without selling your lower tier items, then you're just weaker overall. Even if you have a soul lead, for example, you might have had to sell things, whereas you really did not want to sell them. And if you had the amount of slots necessary, you would just be a lot stronger. Thing is, the enemy are positioning to do the mid boss. You can see right now that they're all kind of around it. They're probably looking to see if they could get a pick. Once they get a pick, they're definitely going to be doing that mid boss for sure. I mean, Viscus is trying to get some damage onto the shiv, but it was no bueno. Ooh, it's harder than you think, doesn't it? Goo hits harder than I think. I've never felt about Goo Viscus, honestly not a usual path of thinking oh look at that hook that hook was so far away oh my god shiv uh not shiv uh lash lash is definitely dead right so lash died bebop 100 percent just carried that fight we have shiv here this should win because it's a 5v6 a 6v5 same difference Use a warp stone to get higher. Now, our IV has died. They are in a team fight. They should be fine still. Nope, no. Okay, maybe. Maybe. Now, IV saying she had three of them silenced and CC to shit. So, was the team just not on the correct page? That might be it. So let's actually see what Ivy is talking about. All right, so we're following Ivy now for a little bit. All right, let's see. So Ivy goes in with her ultimate. She sees three of them. The thing is, Ivy, none of your teammates can follow this up. Like you're so far away from the rest of the team. Yeah, I don't think. I don't think it was a matter of like. Nobody else was able to follow up on that. You flew away. Yeah. It's the thing, like, sometimes people expect you to follow up on certain plays, but it's like, how am I... Like, this, and the enemy is right here. <laughs> you know? And yet, they all get wiped. So I think that is the end of the game right there. Maybe they could do something, but probably not. That sucks. Is the enemy even going to do the mid-boss right now? Yes, obviously. Because they want the push in power. Because when you do the mid-boss, all of your troopers get empowered. So they can actually push all the lanes for you, which is really nice because even if you die, you won't lose too much from that push. So when you do the mid boss, you want to like group up and just straight up siege the enemy base, right? Don't don't hesitate. <laughs> the fact that Splatter does like 400 damage, I don't know why it just surprises me. Get a puddle punch going. So Viscus right now is trying to just keep up 
his lead by doing some jungle camps while they know that they can't really push. But the thing is, the enemy is going to be coming soon. And they're going to be coming in some large numbers. Let's see how they defend against this push. Is somebody going to get caught out? Who knows, right? This is good. What this is good to remember is that like you do still want to try to keep up your farming advantage, your soul advantage. So Pocket is here. Pocket is caught out. Pocket should just die. When Pocket dies, they will have a numbers advantage. Will it matter? We'll see. So Viscus had to go back. Viscus just bought Diviner's Kevlar, which just gives you a ton of shield. Very nice. CDR, etc, etc. Alright. We seem to be defending the base very well. Let's see how this goes. Alright. The thing is that they get Dynamo altered. And, oh, the Infernus ult as well and everybody's dead. Okay. Well, it kind of sucks because, for example, Viscus didn't have ult. Viscus is the carry on the team. So, automatically, when they initiated without the carry being able to do much, they lost. Right? And we'll just watch the ending here. But I just, I mean, at this point, they just siege the beast, right? So, thank you very much for watching. I hope you liked it. I will put the build somewhere right here. And I will see you guys soon, alright? So, take care. That was definitely a, an interesting game. I think we learned a lot, right? Like, the way how to come back from a deficit is just farm up, no matter what. Group up with your team. I mean, this is all so simple, but, like, people don't do it, I've realized. Like, grouping is so strong. And also, just don't type negative stuff. You're not helping. If you actually want to win, just say nothing or just, like encourage your team i know it's, it could be frustrating but like you you actually just will not be helping whatsoever anyways look at that viscous i mean viscous did a shit ton of damage but it was just not enough he did try his best but you know you know it is it's a mobile at the end they, they ended up like fifty thousand souls behind so like there was no way to come back i don't think at that point but yeah once again thank you very much for watching i'll see you guys soon let me know in the comments which of the heroes you want me to do next i'm kind of just doing them based on my interests right now but it would be cool to do it based on your interests right so you guys let me know all right take care